moved about this world of ours, and ever in search of the finest of its kind, we bring you the top thin spine chillers. <laughs> The manufacturers of State Express 35 Filter King cigarettes take pleasure in presenting the creaking. of new smooth State Express 3.5s today. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. It's a blend that has been perfected after years of constant research by our master blenders and the recent development of an entirely new process which gives you an even smoother 3.5 smoke. promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. Move in world class. Get the taste of new smooth Fit Express 3.5 today. Place in the car. Don't try to tell me she is. I really wouldn't try to tell you anything in your present condition. Where is she? Upstairs? No, Alan. Upstairs, Mrs. Manning. I... Julia isn't here. What's got into you anyway? It's got into me. You made a good try, but it won't work. Julia and I are getting married. No matter what you do or try. That is your own personal business and Julia's. 
All I can do is to assure you that my sister isn't here. And you've no idea where she is? No. And that's what you'll tell me next. Uh, as a matter of fact, you're right. My wife and I needed a rest. He moved from town and rented this house. Not according to the age. That's ridiculous. He told me Julia's name is on the lease. I'm afraid, Alan, you'll be misinformed. I'm going upstairs to look. Carl? It's all right, Carl. Let him go. And what well, I find that Julia leaving his house with me. Carl. Carl, he'll find her now. I know. He'll see what she's become. <laughs> yes, Mother. Alan's in for the shock of his life. But there's nothing we can do about it now. <laughs> Don't say that, Anton. What? You touch that hand. Keep your hand away from me. Julia. Oh, you won't turn it on, Annie. Come, you won't. All right. What has he done to you, Julia? He? Your brother, Carl. What has he and his wife done to you? I've done nothing. Don't you dare say one word against them. Oh, Alan. Why did you try to find me? Why? How can you ask such a thing? Just a month ago, we were to be married, and then you disappeared. You've got to leave here at once. Just make believe you didn't find me. What? You've got to. No. I'm here to find out what this is all about. For your own good, Alan, go away. Please. Go away and never come back again. I'm not budging until you tell me why. Why do you sound so peculiar? Why do you all want to remain in the dark? Alan... Please, go. Not until you can look me straight in the eye and tell me you want me to leave. Alan, don't turn on that lamp. I'm sorry, Julia, but... <laughs> don't. 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 Julia. Now get out of here. Get out or I'll kill you. Feeling any better now, Alan? Yes, my, my face is... Stop bleeding. The gash is where she clawed you, or rather deep. Clawed? Now, can you understand why I said my sister wasn't here? Carl, what's wrong with her? What is it? Alan, I know you don't like me, but please, take my advice. Forget you ever knew Julia. Well, I know it sounds cruel, but it's the best advice I can offer you. I'm sorry, it's out of the question. All right. That leaves me no choice but to tell you. Perhaps after all, it is better than I do. So what? What's wrong with Julia? I'll have to ask for your complete confidence. You have it? Look in the mirror, Alan. Huh? Look at those scratches on your face. Well. What are you driving at? Don't they seem strange to you? A moment ago, you used to turn cold. You, you said I was cold. Exactly. Are those marks the marks a human hand would make? Or are they not more like the marks of an animal's claw? You're not making sense. The sensible explanation is not to my liking either, Alan. It wasn't easy for me to face it when I first saw the reversion setting in. Reversion? I, I don't find it. It was semi-dark in the room upstairs, but still you noticed something very peculiar about Julia. Uh, physically, that is. She was altogether peculiar. I mean something specific. Her eyes. What did you notice about her eyes? She kept her face pretty well away from me, but... Now you mention it. Yeah. I noticed her eyes were... Oh, God. <laughs> you noticed they were what, Alan? They were like... Like, like the eyes of a cat. Yes. Yeah. In the last two weeks, the reversion process has been stepped up on the head. Already her pupils have expanded to the full iris, and... Perhaps you've noticed her fear, or rather her pathological hatred of light. <laughs> yes, I did. Her fingers, their virtual claws now. Stop it, please. But can't something be done? A doctor. You've tried everything. If a doctor were to see her now, his only recommendation would be to put her in an institution for the rest of her life. Her unnatural life. Julia. I know how you feel. 
That's quite right, Alan. And if you'd like, you may have a night with us. Thank you. I'll show you upstairs to your room. It's just not believable. I know. Too shocking to accept this, sir. This car! Now can you believe, Alan? Now can you believe every word that I've told you is true? If you don't, I'll have you to... send me away. No, Julia. I'll just have to keep the door to this room locked. Oh, you'll never send me away. You'll never do that. I promised you, didn't I? Now, come on. Lie down. Uh, Carl. Alan is here tonight. I know. You let him see me. I couldn't help it. He insisted. You let him stand out. You'll go first thing in the morning. And take me away. You mustn't think about that now. I scrapped him. I hated him. I didn't think I could ever hate Alan. I told you not to think about it. Everything's going to be all right. Will it? Oh, will I ever get better? Of course not. Just lie back, Julia, and I'll stress. I'll soothe your forehead. I, I didn't mean You were going to say... So, no, I, I... You were, I, weren't you? First, as you would a cat. No, Julia, I wasn't. You mustn't put words into my mouth. You'll only make things worse for yourself. What is it? Julia. Where were you tonight? Uh, uh, no. Are you out of the house? I, I don't remember. <laughs> Why? You were with someone. Try to remember. I can't. Why, Carl? Never mind, it's nothing. You're keeping something from me. No. You're hiding something behind you. You've got something in your hand. Yeah, nothing, I tell you. Let me see what's on the coat. Oh, 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 My slipper. My slipper's covered with blood. Oh, 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 oh. Get the taste of new smooth Safe Express 35 today. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. It's a blend that has been perfected after years of constant research by our master blenders. And the recent development of an entirely new process which gives you an even smoother 35 smoke. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. Move in world class. Get the taste of new smooth Fit Express 3.5 today. Get her out of here. I was with Alan last night and I killed him. I killed him. She's insane. Do 
and you're really good evening. She's a cat now. Wasn't that our plan, Martha, to drive her out of her mind? It's gone too far. Not at all. It hasn't gone quite far enough yet. You'll howl like a cat again tonight. No, I won't. We've got to stop this right now. Oh, if she gets worse, she'll kill both of us. That'd be ridiculous. Julia couldn't kill anybody. But Alan... Julia didn't kill Alan. What? I killed Alan. <laughs> Of course. It was quite necessary. Oh, why didn't you tell me? Why did you not I even... wanted to get a legitimate performance out of you when you found his body. I wanted you to be horrified, and I wanted you to recoil from Julia just as you did. You're a murderer. That's a very unpleasant thing to say. I was merely protecting my investment of time and trouble. You didn't have to commit murder. Oh, but I did. You see, I hadn't really convinced Alan at all. How do you know? I kept my eye on his room after he went up to bed. I saw him steal out and come downstairs here. I listened on the upstairs extension. I heard him telephone Peterson. And the doctor told him what was wrong with Julia? He explained to Alan the symptoms of hermeralopia, day blindness. And you killed him for that? <laughs> of course. But why? You've suddenly grown very sensitive, darling. I never bargained for murder. When you want money... As much money as my sister Julia has, you must be prepared to take any step, no matter how violent. But what I... did you expect me to do? Allow Alan to tell Julia that she was suffering from an eye affection after I built up in her mind that she was slowly turning into a cat? Or would you choose to allow him to walk out of here and go to the police? I, I don't want that money now. <laughs> You're just excited. You'll feel differently about it later. No, I'll never feel differently. After what's happened, I told you all along I had a feeling something would happen. What could possibly happen now? Alan's out of the way. His body will never be found. I'm not thinking of Alan. I'm thinking of your sister. What about Julia? Oh, I'm thinking of the terrible thing we've done to her. It's a little late to think about that, isn't it? No, I don't know that. There must be something we can do. There's only one thing you're going to do, Martha, and that is, as I say, oh, we're going to keep working on Julia until she's put away for the rest of her life. We're going to keep at it until I have every cent of hers. to take care of you, didn't I? Oh, yes, sir. And I will take care of you always. The very best I can. Carl, when are you going to leave her alone? When she's beyond help completely and only then, Mother. Anymore. You stand as much as I say you can stand. Now get hold of yourself. Won't be much longer. No, Carl. It won't be much longer. What do you mean? You'd better stop now. I'm warning you. Warning me? For your own good. That'd be ridiculous. You won't listen to me. You won't stop. Of course not. The plan is perfect. Nothing could go wrong now. <laughs> Some lunch, Julia. You're hungry. 
I want to talk to you. Why did you close the door, Martha? Since Alan died, you've never closed it while you were in here. You were afraid to be alone with me. I'm not afraid anymore. I'm here to help you. Help me? To get away from here. What? To get away from Carl. There isn't much time. I don't want to leave Carl. He's the only one who can help me now. No, Julia. I'm the only one who can really help you now. You must leave here tonight before it's too late. You're trying to trick me. No. Oh, believe me. I'm jealous because Carl is good to me. You're all being jealous. Please listen. I'm only trying to help. If you stay here, you're lost. You'll end up in an institution. That's what Carl wants. That's what you want. You want me out of this house so they can get me and put me away. No, Julia. Oh, you must believe me. At first, I did want that. Carl talked me into it. But now, it's gone too far. Now I only want to save you from Carl. Julia, you're not a murderer. What? You didn't kill Alan. But I did. And the other people had you. There were no other people. Only Alan. And you didn't kill him. Carl did. No. Carl wouldn't do that. He, he knew I loved Alan when I... When I was... Before this happened to me. Carl killed Alan. I swear it. I can't believe you must. It's your only chance. Carl put the blood on your slipper and on your dressing gown. <sighs> It is all a trick to drive you out of your mind. And if you don't let me help you tonight, it'll be too late for you. They'll put me away? For the rest of your life. Well, Julia? You help me, Martha. Really? Yes, in every way I can. But what can you do now? I've planned it all. Tonight at dinner, I put a sedative in Carl's coffee. By nine, you'll be fast asleep. And I'll be waiting in the car for you. Do you understand? Yes, Martha. I understand. You'll be waiting for me downstairs in the car at nine o'clock. And by the time Carl wakes, he'll be hundreds of miles away from here. Safe. to see me, Mother. I... According to your calculations, I should be fast asleep at this point. Isn't that right? No, I don't know what you mean. Don't waste time fencing. I replaced the sedative with a quite uh, innocuous powder. You... You overheard Julia and me? Not at all. I had no idea of your scheme until Julia told me. What? Julia told me everything. She didn't believe me. Not a word. She thought you were only trying to trick her. You see, Martha, it is only a waste of your time and your life. What? Your life. Carl! I can't trust you any longer. That's fairly obvious, isn't it? Carl, you, you wouldn't... I've no other course now. Oh, you couldn't kill me. I once told you when you want something badly enough, no step is too violent. Oh, no. You see this, Martha? Oh! This is the iron claw that was used on Alan. Carl, no! Please. After I'm finished, I'll call the police. I'll oh. tell them about my sister. No. My completely insane sister. And the horrible thing she's done to my wife. No. And then I'll have everything I've worked for. Ah. I, I live on Windmill Road, the last house in from the highway. Please, come right away. Manning, Windmill Road. Yes. Got it. What's wrong? There's been a murder. 
Murder? Yes. My wife's been caught to death. <laughs> Get up there immediately. No, Carl, I'm not going back to that room again. Ever. Julia, you do as I say, or I. Oh. Why did you turn off the light? I heard everything you said on the phone. What? And I saw what you did to Martha in the car. You, 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 you. I wanted you to do that to her. That's why I told you everything. And you did believe her. It made no difference. We're too late for me. Julia, I, I, I want those lights out. No, Carl, I like the dark. Remember, I can only see clearly in the dark. But you can't see me, can you? Julia, Julia now, listen to me. I can see in the dark because I'm a cat. No, no Julia. I... And you can't hear my step because I walk on cat. But Julia, there's really nothing wrong with you. It's, it's just an eye affliction, that's all. It's more than that now. I'm more attacked than a human being now. <laughs> you bounce into the table because you can't see in the dark. You don't have cat's eyes like I have. You're, you're not a cat, Julia. You're My not. hands are claws now with sharp, long nails. Nails that can rip and tear and kill. No, it's only in your mind. You, you, you can't kill. I'm a cat car. You made me one. You turned me into an animal. Julia, please, to turn on the light. You'll never see light again, Carl. Ever. Julia, you Tap up against the window now. Behind you is a steep cliff. You're in a corner and you can't get out. You're a mouse trapped in a corner by a cat. Julia, stand back, don't. A mouse trapped by a cat. Oh! of new smooth State Express 3.5 today. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. It's a blend that has been perfected after years of constant research by our master blenders and the recent development of an entirely new process which gives you an even smoother 3.5 smoke. promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. Move in world class. Get the taste of new smooth Big Express 3.5 today. Through the 
Creepy, you know. I've come. Mm. 